हेलो गुड इवनिंग वेलकम टू डॉट प्रोग्रामिंग डॉट ब्लॉग स्पॉट डॉट कॉम टूडे आई विल शो यू स्टाइल सेट दिस इज द फर्स्ट ट्यूटोरियल इन सी एस एस थ्री एस टी एम फाइव एंड बुक टू स्टैप दिस इज स्टाइल थ्री इन दिस इन दिस मॉड्यूल वी विल लर्न इन लाइन स्टाइल शीट इंटरनल एम्ब्रॉयडरी स्टाइल शीट एक्सटर्नल स्टाइल शीट दे आर द थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ द स्टाइल सेट सो फर्स्ट वी टॉक अबाउट द इन लाइन स्टाइल सेट स्टाइल इन साइड टैग आई मीन टू से वेन वी अप्लाई स्टाइल इन साइड द टैग लाइक द डिविजन वी हैव ए नॉन सीमेंटिंग टैग बट अप्लाई द स्टाइल हेयर स्टाइल बैकग्राउंड कलर इज ग्रे वेन वी राइट समथिंग इन द डिविजन दैन द बैकग्राउंड कलर इज ग्रे एंड सिमिलरली फॉर द इंटरनल स्टाइल सेट that is style uh, with the style tag uh, in the head section and we can use in it for the class id and tags with the properties like the background color foreground color width height margin etc similarly for the external style sheet outside the page uh, that style sheet uh, contain a new page uh, uh, i mean to say your html page and the css page is separated so so outside the web page a new file with the css extension css stands for cascading style sheet okay similarly for the internal style sheet now come to the visual studio and uh, uh, learn one by one okay so add is html page what do you mean by the in, uh, inline style sheet i mean to say a style within the tag okay a style attribute uh, within the tag that's mean of the inline style sheet okay so uh, this is the poor style sheet actually uh, because inline style sheet now copy this and paste it here the style attribute inside the division tag with the background color property is gray okay so if you write something uh, in the division the background color of this text is gray okay that is the inline style sheet now right click on it and view in browser yeah the background color is gray okay now uh, if you set another then use semicolon like color colon white save this and refresh it yeah color is white this is the inline style sheet if you make some changes uh an in line by using the semicolon and add the properties height is 100 pixel yeah height is 100 pixel okay mm width is also 100 pixel or other exceed 100 pixel that is a square yeah so uh this is the complete example of the inline style sheet remember again a style within the tag known as inline style sheet okay now come to the internal style sheet second page internal style sheet a style uh, within the page or you can say the style tag within the head section and in which we can use three properties uh, sorry uh, three concepts or you say you can say three css components like the class tag and id so uh, i will give uh, i have a example of the class that is dot prefer uh, before the name of the class you can use dot and the class name is user defined okay so background color is green width is 200 pixel height is 200 pixel okay 
this is the example of the class and how to use this class uh, for the divisions and any other component or uh, elements of the HTML similarly this copy this uh, in the ID section background color is orange width is 300 height is also 300 this is the example of the ID with prefixes hash and the tag you know very well about that tag is HTML tag body tag title tag and many uh, tags in HTML that is predefined and HTML5 there are various tags for the semantic purpose okay this is the and how to use this so take a this is the inline style sheet example that is uh, covered in previous frames or you can say few seconds before few seconds uh, now and inline style sheet now come to the internal style sheet and how to use this so uh, I have a division and I want to use the class so enter the class without any dot the name of the class is class 1 and write something here example of internal style sheet okay with class property now save this and run it in browser yeah the green color box is an example of internal style sheet with the background color is green and width and the height property now copy this for the id property so remove the class from the division and use the id property that is also a id so id equals to now change the name of the id is div1 okay this is the you can change uh, name of the class and the id of the name or you can say name of the id so division 1 applied here and refresh it again yeah this is the example of the id and the last one is the tag uh, you know very well about the tags that is paragraph tag and br tag hr tag uh, bold tag italic unformatted mm, image tag and many other tags but uh, i have to use the paragraph tag and no other one mm, uh, no other class and id is used here so simple inside the p tag right here paragraph tag brief defined in html and in which we have a uh, properties that is their background color is gray and width and height is 100 100 pixels okay so this is the example of the internal style sheet uh, if you uh, talk about uh, external style sheet this all things is included in the external style sheet of the internal style sheet uh, I mean to say internal style sheet and external style sheet both are the same but external style sheet cover in separate page so removed it here and also removed from the body sections now save this and add a new style sheet that is mean of external style sheet with the extension dot css cascading style sheet here the cascading style sheet means a rules of the uh, uh, styling rules applied on the HTMLs for the decorating page etc that's mean of the cascading or you can say the layer one by one layers on each others okay so here we have a site.css file in the solution explorer or you can say project folder that is the separate style sheet uh, and uh, if you talk about the HTML5 we have a header uh, tag in which we can add other tags 
like the h1 and for the p h1 for the site title and p for the subtitles so my simple blog and p is the technical blog okay now if you want to apply styles on header section h1 section and etc uh, this is the simple without any style sheet if you add style that is external style sheet so this is the tag body tag uh, you can see in the internal style sheet the background color of the body tag is gray and color is white okay now save this and refresh it first of all uh, link the uh, css with the html base like using the link tag href site.css href for the hyper reference of the file at site.css now save this and view in browser yeah simple body is changed with the gray color and the text is changed with the white color okay now apply uh, the class and the id on the header section uh, you can say the header is also uh, a tag so applied uh, the tag header Mm, what you can take uh, any properties inside the header section or any other uh, selectors that is id class and text so color is black save this in the paragraph tag this is the paragraph tag technical block trash it yeah so thank you thank you very much for watching this video tutorials please keep watching my all other video tutorials uh, which is uh, uploaded later so thank you thank you very much again